A rainy day across Northern California. Let's take a live look at how things look here at Sacramento, Fairfield and Stockton and more rain is expected over the next 24 hours. The rain we are seeing now is expected to increase in the coming hours. Yeah, that is actually raising the risk of some streams and creeks flooding in Sacramento County. County officials are monitoring that situation. We've already seen some flooding along Deer Creek and this weekend more creeks are expected to overflow their banks and to begin to run onto some rain roads. Casey Area 3's Melanie Wingo has found one of those roads in Rancho Murrieta. She's live with that. We begin our team coverage, though, with our chief meteorologist, Mark Finan, with what we're seeing right now. Mark. Yeah, and we'll get to Melanie standing in that uh, that water and show you just how deep that is in just a second. But let me show you what's been going on throughout the day. We've just been seeing waves of light to moderate rain in the valley. But once you get to the east side of the valley in the foothills, it has been raining all day long. And the difference between the rain we've seen in the valley and seen in the foothills is just remarkable. In the last 24 hours, so th this isn't a storm total. This is just since 6 o'clock yesterday. Sacramento's picked up a little more than half an inch, and same thing in Stockton. But look at the foothills, Auburn, Placerville, Georgetown, two, three inches of rain in a 24 hour period. We often talk about the rain rate. So let's say you're in Stockton, you pick up a half an inch of rain over 24 hours. That doesn't cause problems. When you start seeing rain at two or three inches in 24 hours, that's when you start to see streams and creeks rise. And we may bring briefly see that kind of rain rate in the valley tomorrow morning as the best part of this weather system goes through. This is the way Futurecast shows it at 8 o'clock tonight. The evening is going to be a lot like the day has been. It'll be breezy. It'll be wet. The rain in the valley will be on again, off again in the foothills. It'll be steady. But later on tonight, this is midnight. The rain is likely to increase. And then this is tomorrow morning when we're probably seeing about the best part of this system. Heavy rain in the foothills, heavy rain in the valley. And it's that type of rain with the rain rate increasing for about four or five hours. That's when we'll have the possibility of the streams and creeks rising in the valley, also causing some street flooding too. Back to you. Thank you, Mark. As he said, some creeks are overflowing, flooding roads in eastern Sacramento County. Yeah, case area three's Melanie Wingo's right in the middle of it in Rancho Murrieta on Kiefer Boulevard, which is underwater. Melanie. Yes, and as I'm standing here listening to Mark, hearing that there will be several more inches of rain throughout the valley over the next 24 hour period and through the weekend, I can only imagine how deep this location will ultimately get. We got out here around one o'clock this afternoon when we heard there was a stranded vehicle down this road and the water has only risen and it's become more breezy and very, um, very much apparent that this is not going to be a road where the waters are receding anytime soon. You can see I, I was kind of in uh, up to my ankles just a moment ago and then as I go towards the side of the road where there is a drop off here. I want to be careful. Yeah, the, you drop off here and now it's up to my knees. So you can see as cars come through, if they try to come through, they're going to run into issues as we saw a cautionary tale earlier this afternoon, as I mentioned, with one car stalled out down the road and more cars could get in this kind of situation as we head on through the weekend. You wouldn't know it from the rippling water or the visible current, but this body of water is actually Kiefer Boulevard, a Sacramento County road now underwater, a spot where a driver got stuck. Well, she called us and she said the water was entering in her car. We Requiring help from CHP and these two towing pros. And we called CHP because it turned into a recovery and to get her safe. This, though, not a run of the mill tow job. Probably take us a couple hours. And hundreds of feet of cable. You walk out with a bunch of cable and hook it up to the vehicle and pull it to the truck. We don't take our trucks in water or off pavement, so that way we don't get stuck. The driver of this car, lucky she wasn't hurt. But first responders are experienced in pulling people to safety under even more precarious conditions. There are times when they do get stuck and that creates a rescue situation. Sacramento Metro Fire ready for high water rescues of drivers testing their cars capabilities. It's inevitable people are in a hurry and when they get into a position where they're going to be faced with a static body of water, sometimes they push the limits of their vehicle. They try and push through it. Situations those tasked with saving people and vehicles have seen all too many times and ones they say can be easily avoided. Don't drive in water, period. 
just stay away from it. Turn around, go the other way, find another route. And although there are signs on either side of Kiefer Boulevard where this flooding has occurred on Jackson to uh, just beyond where we are there and then Grant line over in that direction, I can tell you people have tried to come through. They've turned around, but one car we did see make it through this entire spot of standing water. And my photographer, John Breedlove, and I were sitting there thinking, wow, he's the lucky one who made it through. But on the other side of all of this flooding, he stalled out just beyond our news car. And he was stuck there for an hour and a half with water damage, had to be towed out off of Kiefer Boulevard. So even if you make it through, the bottom line is you may sustain water damage to your vehicle on the other side of that standing water. Not a good scene. We, what we want to do right now is check in with meteorologist Mark Finan, who has a look at some of the other spots that traditionally in storm events like this see this kind of flooding. Mark? And so I'm going to show you some of those spots. And for those of you that may be in or near or going to be driving through some of these spots, keep the message that Melanie was just telling you in mind. There are three areas that usually go up first, and one of them is Dry Creek. It comes out of Roseville in South Placer County, then comes down into Sacramento County, and then flows into Rio Linda. And there are a couple of roads that quite often get water on them in a case like this. There's Elkhorn Boulevard and Rio Linda Bo Boulevard. You can see actually Dry Creek kind of splits in two. And so these are areas that often see standing water on the road, actually the water flowing over the road, and that would have by tomorrow afternoon, most likely. And the same would be true on Arcade Creek. And Arcade Creek, it's right here. You can see how it's just twisting, turning through a lot of neighborhoods. Now, one of the areas that often goes up is here at Winding Way. That's near American River College. But you can see this goes through a lot of neighborhoods. So Arcade Creek doesn't just rise on Winding Way. It can threaten other neighborhoods and that area, too. And then we were just talking about Deer Creek. This is already flowing because of all the rain we've seen in El Dorado County. So it it flows across Scott Road. Scott Road is already underwater and then farther downstream. This is where Melanie is here on Kiefer Boulevard and then farther downstream you get into Wilton. Here's Wilton right in here and here's Sheldon and you can see there are roads that come down to the creek. So these are some spots that are likely going to have high water tomorrow and especially tomorrow afternoon. Back to you, Mark. Thanks. Let's talk about another area right now. The San Joaquin Valley is also expecting significant rain this weekend. This neighborhood in Lodi on Botticelli Way is no stranger to flooding. People there say heavy flooding has impacted the neighborhood for the past few years. And with all that rain expected this weekend, one of the neighbors there, Francisco Zamora, says he won't be surprised if it happens again. There was a couple of cars that were damaged in a couple of the yards, all the bark that washed out from the homes. County officials say maintenance crews are on the lookout for any potential flood conditions. In the Oakland Hills area, the latest rain triggered a rock slide there. Here are pictures taken of the blocked road. 500 people lost power due to the landslide, taking out a power pole, which caused a transformer to blow. And communities in Santa Cruz County also getting ready for the chance of flooding. This was the Rio Del Mar Beach parking lot on Tuesday. It regularly floods there during storms which uh, shuts some businesses down for the day, and that may well happen again this weekend.